What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and in today's video we got an RC. No, not that one. Alright, so I have been wanting to get this thing for a while and now that uh, summer is coming to an end, um, winter is going to be coming around, so I figured I would get something to be able to play indoors that I won't be able to play outdoors. Well, I can still play outdoors, but it's better to be indoors with this thing. So anyway, so what we wound up getting, we got the WL Toys K969, as you guys can see right there. Um, the package that they sent, the box that they send it in, they send it in like that. I don't understand it like all the pictures all around on the box is not the car <laughs> until you get to the back of the box where they actually have it marked right there what is in the box uh the next one that i might be getting i might be getting this one right here um so i got that one might be getting that one or i might be getting a mini z just to compare this one to the Mini Z. Uh, so, before I get this thing opened up, I kind of want to give you guys an update on what happened with my car. Um, so, if you guys hadn't known, in my last video that I put out, I spoke about how my uh, how I ended up getting in a car accident and everything, and um, ended up getting in a car accident. And we were waiting to find out what the insurance was going to do with the car. If they were going to total it. If it was going to get fixed. Um, and I have gotten a reply for the car. From the insurance about the car. And they are going to total the car. So that car is no longer a part of my family. Um, which I'm alive. Person that I had the accident with, he's alive. Thank God for that. Uh, we're all alive. Everybody's good. No fatalities. No major injuries. No injuries at all, actually. And um, everybody is 100%. So that's the update on that. The car is totaled and uh, it's gone. So luckily, I have this car. My G35 that I will be driving and uh, if you guys haven't seen the last picture the last video of the that I put up which I'll put a link here go check it out and uh, check out that video and there's a picture there I'll put a picture up here so that's what the car looks like and um, that's where we're at so with uh, that being out of the way, let's open up the box and let's let's see what we got inside here. All right. So let's open this bad boy up. One flap, two flaps, three flap, four. Put it out on its side, and whoops, stay on. <laughs> All right, so in the box, that's about it. Let's put that box out here to the side. So in the box, uh, from what I see, we got this uh, connector here, which I'm not going to need because I am in the USA. So that's for the USA. I'm not going to need that. Uh, we get some gearing that you guys see right there. We get the... Uh, instruction manual for it which is pretty nice the fact it actually tells you everything parts wise that uh tells you everything part wise that you're going to need and uh what goes where and basically tells you how to put this thing together so if you're ever going to work on it save these instruction manuals and they will help you out a lot so let's put that to the side, and here we got the 
car. And in this box here, <laughs> we have the controller and we have the LiPo charger. So, um, this thing does come with a 2S LiPo that we are going to check out right now. So here we go. Pull up, let's pull the battery out. See what type of battery this is. There we go. All right, so this is a 7.42 cell lipo. So you guys can see right there, hopefully. Focus, focus, there you go. So that's the battery that comes with it. And this is what the car looks like, guys. Nice metal chassis underneath here. You can see the motor right there. These are plastic wheels. And it looks like here that you're able to move the rear end back. I'm guessing for a different body. Um, so yeah, this thing, you got a nice uh, metal bar coming across the top here where your ESC is and everything. Um, don't know what turn motor this is. Uh, it feels like it does have locked diffs. They're not open. No, no, they're definitely definitely not open diffs. They are these are locked diffs. Um, so let's put this battery back in here again. Get it in and out of the way here. They have that like that. Get this, put this bad boy in here. So just so everybody knows, <laughs> just so everybody knows, I am not good at drifting. Um, this is actually my second drift vehicle that I've had. My first one is my um, Nissan Silvia that I used to have. Well, I still have the body. I do not use that chassis for anything. That's my shelf queen. Uh, so I do not use that body at all. But this is my second. Let's move this guy out of the way. This is my second uh, drift car. Um, and one that I'm going to be using quite a lot. So the one thing that I have noticed with this is with this and with these uh this chassis here is you are able to put on a mini z body uh i believe any mini z body will fit on this if i'm not mistaken uh i think the only thing you have to worry about is or you have to remove are going to be these top mounting posts body posts here the rear body posts and i do believe the front shock towers have to get moved in order to um whatchamacallit <laughs> in order to put a mini z body on here <clears throat> so that's the that's that uh the body it is a porsche body it still has the plastic on i kind of don't want to pull that off i'm going to leave that plastic on there um see if it'll kind of save the body a little bit uh it is a nice looking body i am a porsche fan so i do love the porsche 911s um i love that car so i am extremely happy that i got this now this thing does not have any lights it doesn't have as you guys can see no light buckets or anything like that these things are small man um I want to take it for a test run. But before we do that, let's check out the controller here. So the controller, I had already put batteries in this. You're going, it's going to take four AA batteries, which I have already put in here. Um, your power button is right there. You have your steering here, which the steering does feel nice. It has a nice cushioning on there. You have um, your throttle, forward, reverse. So you have your steering trim there, these two, and your throttle trim is down here. So this is what, one, two, two channel radio, basically all you need for this thing anyway. So 
uh, I think we are going to plug this in and we're going to give it a little rip and see how this thing does. Now, again, I mind you, I'm not that good at drifting. <laughs> I am really, really not that good at drifting. So this will be a... Um, Tryout course, I guess you'd say. Tryout course, I guess you'd say. So this is going to be like a tryout course uh, to see how, you know, see how good the car does. And uh, see how bad I am at drifting. I should probably turn it on first before I put the clips on. <laughs> Cause I don't even know. Oh, here it is. All right, so the switch is on the side of it. And there you go, she's on now. And always turn on your controller first. I completely did that backwards. So you know what's on. If you guys can see, there's a light blinking in there. So you know that this thing is on. Uh, how much battery does this? how charged is a lipo in here i have no idea but um let's give it a shot let's try it right here first get that out of the way whoa So, as you guys can see, it is pro proportional steering. So, if I turn a little bit to the right, it's going to go to the right. All right, stay right there. If I turn to the left, she's steering to the left. Let's try that again. So, to the right, going to the right, to the left, fully proportional. The wheels accelerating a little bit. Things got some weight and speed to it, man. All right, let's try it out. All right, so I do know this is not the best type of flooring for this but hey it is let's move you guys right here it's the floor that I have um and I'm not going outside right now because uh I kind of don't want to be outside and it start raining and it's dark out it's like 9 30 at night so let's try that one here again my drifting not great so let's uh give it a shot here <laughs>
guys so there we got it <laughs> there we have it um i like this thing <laughs> and i like it a lot uh no uh seriously in all seriousness this thing is fun um you got some nice drifting out of it um i mean it kind of feels like that The motor's not too hot on here, so that's not too bad. Eh? Yeah, it's got some heat coming out of it. Uh, the motor does have some heat coming out of it. But all in all, guys, it's not that bad. Um, I did get this from uh, Banggood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This motor's nice and toasty. Wow. So, be careful. If you guys do go to get one, I got it off of Banggood. I'll put a link down in the description of where you can pick this up. So I got this off of Banggood. Um, and uh, I forget how much I paid for it. I think it was uh, maybe 70 bucks. I think. Um, yeah, I think it was 70 bucks. So... Yeah, this thing is uh, this thing is fun, man. I'm uh, I'm enjoying it. I like it, and uh, I'm kind of hoping to get a um, I don't know upgrade for it. Probably get another shell for it. Um, I do like I do like this Porsche body, but knowing that I can put the Mini Z, the Kyosho Mini Z bodies on this. I'm kind of going to take advantage of it, <laughs> and I'm more than likely going to wind up getting a body. So, that will be another video coming up. So, I am going to be go going to be looking at other bodies um, to be putting on this, and uh, also going to be looking at upgrades so I will be looking at upgrades for this thing and uh, see what this thing can do I mean from what I remember hearing or reading is that the Kyosho wheels also fit on this so since the Kyosho wheels also fit on this that will also be a plus and um, yeah <laughs> that'll definitely be a plus because these wheels are not that bad looking. They are not my cup of tea, but they are not bad looking. So, with that being said, uh, boys and girls, thanks for watching. Um, thank you, everybody. Uh, we are almost at 200 subscribers. And I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel and uh, staying with me through all this uh you know i've had my ups and downs right now uh, i haven't been putting out too many videos with everything that happened with the car accident and everything so now that the car accident that's all taken care of insurance already took all care of that um hopefully there will be more videos coming out um rc news i have to get back into that um and whatnot and we have Oh, we have a couple things that I want to do. So, with uh, with that being said, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. Hit that like button. Subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys in another video.